What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. A link will be in the description box below, as usual. And I didn't know I was this fly until I just looked at myself. Anyway, uh, this video is entitled Willie Lynch Gender Responsibility. Willie Lynched ED Gender Responsibility. What I'm talking about is the Willie Lynch letter was a thing where it, it tries to flip a people inside out and reverse the gender roles, right? To create confusion. This is what I'm using this at for, it's just a theory, okay? Um, when it comes to issues with gender roles right now. Now, so let's get into it. Because some of the, the complaints... It's about parenting. Come from parenting. Um, the women are looking for men who will be protectors and providers, right? And when these people, because of they've been parenting under this Willie Lynch style, these kids, the, the boys, they would say it were coddled, okay? Um, in our community, they would say boys are coddled more than the girls. So what happens is these boys are coddled and they're not and they're, and they're parented out of fear. And people make the argument that they don't they don't know responsibility. They're not taught to be responsible. And then those boys grow up to be men. And then the community wants these boys who weren't taught to be responsible to take on the responsibility of the community. And it doesn't make, and, and that's the problem with, you, you, you never taught the responsibility in the first place, so you flipped it all inside out. And then on the opposite side of that, you say, they'll say they'll teach the girls to be um, go-getters and don't depend on a man for anything. And, you know, get your education, do what, teach her everything she has to do to get ahead in this life and economy or whatever. And then these little girls grow up to be grown women. And what winds up happening is they, they're, looking, they're looking for men to be protectors and providers, but they weren't taught how to, how to live and live with one, how to trust men enough to protect and provide for them. They, they want to just do their own thing. So when it comes to the relationship part, it's like, you know, she is one thing, but she's rogue when it comes to the actual traditional roles. Um, the other thing, this also plays out in skills. Because what winds up happening is you don't teach the boys any skills because they're not, and, and you kind of, you shelter them from men to teach them skills. And what winds up happening is they grow up and they don't know how to do the things that men historically have done to, um, to not only maintain themselves in their community, but to grow their community. So now they don't have the skills that the other men had. And then you teach the women to um, that they can be independent, but they can, but they'll pay a man for his skills, and then they have nobody to pay because, you know, or or to interact with because the people around them don't have skills. So you look outside of your own group to other groups, and then you respect those guys more because you're paying them to do things you think you, that your men should be doing when, you know, unfortunately some of the men weren't taught to do things. And a lot of this plays out in a lot of late blooming because a lot of the, the, this reversal happens at an older age now where people realize that they were taught backwards and they revert to, to get back to what works. But I'm gonna get to that in a minute. Um, the other thing. You have these young boys who are taught that to be show horses and not work horses. So 
this is where all the swag stuff comes from, right? So now you want to, women are attracted, you know, they're teaching people that swagger is, a, can be used as a commodity, a currency, when that's not the case. But, so the guys take on the female role of being beautiful as if being beautiful is going to get them something. And then you teach the girls that you have to work hard and get something. And you don't have, the, they, they shouldn't, you should be more than beautiful. And then you grow up in these, with these men who got swag, but they feel inadequate because they're, they, they aren't workhorses, you know. And like my grandmother used to say, you never want to be with a man who thinks he's prettier than a woman, you know. And then you have these women who got these jobs, but they don't take good care of themselves because they feel, they're like a, they feel like they're like a guy. If I make the money and bring home the bacon, you know, it's okay to, to I don't have to be beautiful and unattractive. And then it doesn't mix well, you know, because it, 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 it because those w same women want the attention for being beautiful as, as, as adult women and the, and the same men want the respect of being uh, manly and, and workhorses. And it, and it is backwards on both ends. And then you got this thing where how can I say this? Where men are taught to not listen to the men who can teach them something. So those men are irrelevant. Listen to the guys that the women are attracted to. So then it becomes this animosity because the, that boy can, grows into a man and he realizes he shunned all of his help because the people that were trying to teach him, he believed that he shouldn't listen to them. And the people that taught him dysfunction, he believed that he was supposed to listen to them. So now, you know, he's stuck as an adult trying to fix his life, knowing that, you know, everything that he was taught doesn't really work out in life and everything that he shunned does work out in life but he can't he's piecing together the lessons because he doesn't he didn't spend enough time with the men to teach him those real lessons same thing with the women you know they didn't teach they didn't teach the, the the girls how to be elegant and, and how to have etiquette and how to be ladies they taught them to to be uh harsh and masculine so now and, and they ignored the women who were very feminine and dainty because, you know, they didn't know what they were talking about because they weren't quote unquote go getters. And then as women, they see these women happy in their femininity and they resent that. They get, they, it looks like they resent that and they're mad at that and they want that, that femininity and that daintiness and that, and that air that the guy will always come to protect you because he feels like you're a delicate flower and he he work, he values you and worships you, but you don't know how to be those things, so now you're an adult trying to figure out how to be a lady. You know, you're a woman trying to figure out how to be a lady, so you're a late bloomer too. And it's like, you know, um, like I said, Willie Lynch, uh, gender role, gender responsibility, because now... Um, when you didn't teach the young men to be builders, protectors, and providers, and you taught the women that, that they can protect and provide for themselves, now these women, you know, now the men are like, well, I don't have to build, protect, or provide because, you know, I'm not, you know, these women don't need a man, and I don't want to do it now. And then you got the women like, man, I don't want to be a. I don't want to be out there building. I want to be in the in the inside build. You know, with the building and protection and provision. I don't want to be outside paving roads and building houses and stuff like. Y'all got to do something. And they realize, you know, they 
that that masculine role that they were taught, they only want to go so far with it because they don't want to do that extra, that extra manly heavy lifting. So it causes an issue, you know, because she doesn't want to get out there and 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 pave roads and roof and 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 do plumbing and you know and get under greasy cars and change tires, put air under tires. It's like it's like wait, 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 wait. And then these guys, um, they want pats on the back for doing that. Because they just learned how to do it. So now you got men who women are like, why should I pat you on the back for doing something you're supposed to do as a man? At the same time, the women uh, want pats on the back for doing, for learning how to be a lady. And nobody is given on either side. You know, because everybody winds up being late bloomers because you were taught these this is this Willie Lynch gender responsibility. And now as an adult, you have to deprogram yourself and reprogram yourself. And it looks bad because you may be in your 20s or 30s just getting into your stride of your traditional gender role. So, um, yeah, peace.